Sam Raimi has directed the number one family film so far this year, Oz the Great and Powerful. His favorite movie is the Judy Garland family classic, Wizard of Oz. And it was the scariest movie I'd ever seen and the most tearful movie at the same time. Right. And now he's produced the bloodiest horror film of the year, Evil Dead. So are you insane to take this on? Yes. <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice meeting you. I've got to tell that. <laughs> yeah. How insane is this? Raimi hired newcomer Fede Alvarez to direct someone he found on the internet. Alvarez made this incredible four-minute sci-fi short, Panic Attack, on a $300 budget and posted it to YouTube. The next morning I had like 150 emails from Hollywood, all the studios and all the agents and everybody. Fede chose to work for Raimi. He was, and also he was the only one that wasn't telling me what to do. He was telling me, I want to make a movie with you, whatever it is, let's make a movie together. Jane Levy stars on the hit ABC family comedy, Suburgatory. Fedes are not your friends. Not necessarily, no. Have you ever thought of maybe calling them something else? And now she too has gone evil. You are all going to die tonight. You don't sleep very much because you have to get up really early to go through all that makeup. Yeah. So you're already sleep deprived, and I'm one of those people when I'm hungry and I'm I'm tired, I'm like a monster. So I guess it helped. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> And then every single day was some crazy physical feat. There was something in the woods. Every single shot was either extremely emotionally taxing That's or it's that. physical. And um, but it 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 pays off. I released some evil. Why do people like horror movies? Can you tell me? I don't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's something I think about a lot. Oh my god! It lets you be scared, you know, but in a safe place. So yeah. you're just allowed to have fun. Fairy tales used to be scary. You know, classically, when they were first written, they were really scary, and they say there's something cathartic for young kids to live out their fears through stories. It could also just be like it feels really good to just feel something, yeah. you know, yeah. whatever the feeling is. Um, people like, uh, there's adrenaline junkies out there that like to jump out of planes. I don't understand Some guy that. told me today, like, thank you for the movie. It made me feel, it, it remembered me that I was alive. <laughs> wow. That's a great compliment. Like, Can we go too far? No, I think. And not in an Evil Dead movie, right? The, the Evil Dead title is just, it's all about not going too far. Like, you know, the name it, is you can Evil do whatever, Dead. right? It's, 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 <laughs> That's exactly. true. You know what you're getting into when the name of the movie is Evil Dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Can you, can you go too far? Well, honestly, this is the type of movie that, honestly, I don't feel like is a movie. It's more of like a visceral experience. It's like an experience. It's a, it's a roller coaster ride that you get on, and when you get off, you're like, 